I played Captain Toad Treasure Tracker for review and it was As you may know, I review games for IGN Benelux, the Dutch and Belgian version of IGN. Um, and I get games earlier to make a review. So I got Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, the Wii U puzzle game, like um, more than a week ago, something like that. And that's really strange because it will release in Europe on January 2nd. If you, buy, if you live in the US, you can buy it on um, December 5th. And you should do that if you like smart puzzle games. Let's get it out of the way first. It's not very hard. It will get harder near the end. And when you like the bonus section, if you finish the game, you will get uh, levels that have harder twists on uh, stuff you already completed. But it's still very enjoyable. I gave it an 8.8, .8, mainly because of the great variation. One time you're managing your clone strew maze while standing on switches so that you're open the door so your one clone can walk in and then has to open the switch so that your other clone can walk through and the other time you're in a pinball machine and shooting yourself to the top and going down and going down collecting coins really smart another great example are the minecart levels where Toad jumps into a minecart and the Wii U gamepad screen will turn into first person mode it's, it's something like I don't know if you played it, Pokemon Snap, you will see it right now. It's a, a, a game where you were uh, making photos of Pokemon. And what you're doing right now is you're riding in that minecart, it will drive automatically. And you have to uh, turn left and turn right and shoot turnips at the blocks to get coins and uh, collect the crystals and stars so that you are you finish the level. And uh, it's really smart. Also, when you got someone next to you on the couch, he can uh, say uh, things like, "On the right, there's a there's a block. You need to shoot that." Because the gamepad screen is first person, and you only see like, yeah, not so much. But the screen on the television is zoomed out, and you can see the whole level. So. That, that's some very unique uh, gamepad gameplay. There are more than 70 stages for you and the captain to explore. I have to admit, I played the game mainly on the gamepad with a black TV screen because of the uh, features. If you played Super Mario 3D World on the Wii U last year, you know what I mean when, uh, with those features. You can blow into the microphone and the platform will go up in the air. You can also touch on the touch screen and uh, move blocks so that your toad can move. It's really smart and when you look at the gamepad screen and touch on that screen, it's really easy, it's easier than going uh, touching on the gamepad screen, locking up to the TV and seeing it move. The gamepad features also work way better because of the things toad can do like move, run and throw shit. That's everything. So you really need to help him collect the crystals uh, to finish the, the level. When I review a new game for IGN, I will tell you about it in the videos on Your Raptor. There's also a lot of other videos which you can watch, so go do that. Subscribe to the channel if you like this, share it with your friends, thank you very much for that. And also if you have any questions about Co uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, ask me away, I finished the game, I saw like almost everything, so let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time. Goodbye, thanks for watching.
Whoa.